Hello guys and welcome to this video to learn a little bit about receiving the crown from the lab, okay? Either ready to install or for trying in the patient, okay? If you are using conventional workflow, then of course you did uh, an impression like this with uh, addition silicone and then you are going to receive a dental cast like this, okay? So here we have a dental cast, just an example with a uh, implant analog, so it's a uh, an analog of an abutment and then the preparation, okay? So the preparation, just an example of a case of oral rehabilitation, okay? So you did your impression and you are going to receive a common uh, dental cast like this, okay? And of course, your provisionals or definitive crowns to try in, okay? So all you want is to try in, in the patient and or install if it's the case, okay? And uh, since one of them is screw retained, the one of the implants, then, of course, I can even uh, uh, use the screw of the crown and screw in the crown, okay? And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, to screw the crown and, of course, I'm going to try in on the patient, okay, to see if it's good or not, all right? If you are using conventional workflow, then you did the intraoral scan, for example, and then you are going to receive a dental cast like this, okay? So a 3D printed dental cast, so now it's completely different. This one was a hollow uh, 3D printed uh, model. And of course, it allows you to try in your crowns and even adjust your crowns, okay? So let's see how this works. We have now the supports and the supports here will actually fit the supports here. And in order, in order for us to see how it's the occlusion of the patient without, you know, having a problem of balance, okay? So that's the occlusion of the patient. And we have even a 3D printed die here, okay? So that's the die. I'm going to remove the die, okay, the 3D printed die. And you can even try your crown on the 3D printed dies in order to adjust interproximal surfaces, for example, of your crown, okay? So those are the two different ways. That's how you are going to receive your crown on dental casts, either a 3D printed dental cast, if you want to 3D print your dental cast, because that's not really required for digital workflow, or if you are using conventional workflow, then you are going to receive usually the crowns on the conventional dental casts, okay? So those were the tips of today. If you guys liked, please hit the like button and see you guys on the next videos.